Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to prepare watershed using PowerPoint. So I have this raster data having a SRTM dem. So I'm interested to prepare a watershed from this dem. You can download this dem from the UHS Earth Explorer. So first step is that after downloading, the first step is that we need to fill this dem and we need to project this dem. So first we'll project this dem. So just let just need to click on this R toolbox and to project this time we just need to click on the projection and transformation and project raster so just add this our dame file and this is in WGS 984 and we need to project this before that we need to give our output location that I will create a new watershed. Okay, so I'm create I have created a watershed folder here. Just I will provide a name here that is PRJ dem. I will provide a projected dem. If you'll see here, this is a 73 degree showing here, so it means it will fall in 43. UTM zone. So projected coordinate system, UTM zone, WS 1984, Northern Hemisphere and here is 43 UTM zone. Just click on OK and click on OK. So first step is that I will project this time. After having a projection, what we'll do? Uh, after having a projection to this time, I will go to fill this time. To fill this time, there is an option. So we need to go to special analysis tool. In the special analysis tool, there is a hydrology and there is a field tool. Okay, so just click on the field tool, take this projected dam and give the output location where we are working. So field dam. So just click on okay. So after filling this dam, what we are doing, we are removing the impurities in the dam. What are the impurities are available in the dam that we are removing? So if you want more information, you can right click and you can click on the help tool. You will get the more information about this. So after the filling this tool, we need to go for the flow direction. So fill dam, take input surface as a fill dam and output location where I want to save this. So I will provide flow direction. So just click on OK. So flow direction is there. Now I will prepare, I will prepare the flow accumulation. So input is my flow direction. Input is a flow direction. And output raster means where I want to save this file. So I will save here by the name of FL Acum. Other option is uh, optional. I will click on OK. So now the flow accumulation is ready. We'll see here, here is the flow accumulation. And after that, I will provide a condition that I'm wa I want to see a stream order here. So for that, there is a tool map algebra and raster calculator. In the raster calculator, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give condition here, okay? I'm going to give condition, that is my flow accumulation map, in my flow accumulation map, greater than and equal to, where I will see the pixel value greater than 500. There show me stream as a one and zero where there is a no stream. Means in the flow accumulation, if I'll click here, you will see some pixel values there. Okay, every cell has a some pixel value. Here identity tool, if I'll click here, you will see some pixel values there. Okay, so my condition is that uh, I'm giving the condition that wherever there is a stream like this, there you show me one 
and where there is a no stream there you show me as a zero okay so just i will save this and i will give condition raster okay condition raster save and okay okay now you will see this is the streams are prepared here and now if you'll see here this is the different watershed this is different uh small watershed or basin also if i'll create a, a basin if i'll create a basin you'll understand this let's i'll go to hydrology in the basin i will take this flow accumulation oh input flow direction so this is my flow direction and uh, output raster means where i want to save this so i will save it here that is a basin i am interested to create a basin and click on okay okay now you will see this is the different basin this one is the different basin and if i'll add it here you will understand it properly okay so just uncheck and you will see this this one is means if you'll see here this here is a some water divide is there okay if i'll uncheck you will see the water from this watershed is not entering to this watershed so this one is different and this is different okay so uh, how we can able to create a, a watershed using power point that i want to show you so let we'll create a one power point here okay i will take the lat long for here and i will create a power point here and this i want to create a different uh, whatever the this watershed is there that i'm interested to create a different watershed from here okay so just what i will do i will just create a one shape file here okay so refresh watershed uh, this is a watershed so right click right click new shape file and uh, let i will provide here 43 utm zone and i will provide here power point so just click on okay start editing take this power point click on okay create feature power point okay i am taking power point here because i want this one is a separate okay so i will take one power point here and along this power point i want to create an watershed so just save it and stop it okay so i will go to arc tool box and watershed so input flow direction raster so this is my flow direction raster input raster or feature power point so this is my power point and i will save it what i should save and okay so along this it will create an a watershed so where wherever you want to create an watershed you can take a power point there
Okay, if I uncheck this, you will see here the watershed is created here. And let me show you one thing that where is my streams? These are my streams. If I'll add here and uh, let me take it above. Okay. So along this, whatever the streams are coming, it is taking into this watershed. So now after this, what you can able to do, you can convert this uh, file into stream order and you can extract our watershed from here. Okay. We can extract our watershed. So how we can able to convert this? So just need to go to stream order, then inputs stream raster. So this is my conditional raster, the stream raster, then input flow direction raster. So this is my flow direction raster. Let you provide your output location where you want to save. So I'm using this trailer method, click on okay. Okay, so you will see these are the stream order and uh, we can convert this stream order to vector. So using the stream to feature. So add this input flow direction raster. So where you want to save this data, you can save there. Let I will go by default, convert this. Okay, so now we have converted it into vector file. Okay, so this is my basin, this is my watershed, and this is my vector file. So now I can convert this to polygon. So conversion tool from raster to poly. So watershed I'm converting. You can provide output location and just click on okay. So after that, I will extract this and I will clip this one. So to clip this, go to analysis tool, extract and clip. So this is my streams. This is my watershed and just need to click on OK. So let I will uncheck all this. right click to the stream if you click on attributable you will see these are the orders first order second order third order all orders are there right click click on properties symbology categories grid code apply okay so first order this is my second order third order fourth order fifth order and this one is the last order so this way we can easily prepare our watershed using the pore point so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section thank you